So it's been a while, but we are heading to a race. Now it hasn't been a while since I've raced. Um, I've been a bit of a busy bee in the time that I've been away from YouTube. Uh, basically, I left you all in the lurch, did London Marathon and, and done a disappearing act. But today we are off to Castle Coombe at 10K um, and it just seemed right to come back, vlog this race because we've done it a couple of times this year. There's been a PB here and there's been a not so good race here, but it's been covered both times. So yeah, thought it's a good time to come back and make some content again. Hello, I'm alive. <laughs> He's still alive. So the plan today is to just go and have a good race. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna race it or not, to be honest, going to see when we're out there. Um, the reason being is, I have got Valencia Marathon two weeks today, so the goal is to get to Valencia in one piece, not necessarily clock up the PBs right now. Although there has been a half marathon PB, um, which again, I'll go into. But yeah, we're off to Castlecombe. It's the chilly 10K, and there's a bit of a twist this time. We are running it as a family. Harry is also racing, it's his first 10K. Um, it's a great circuit, really open, and it's buggy friendly. So yeah, we're gonna do it all together. You looking forward to it? Basically, what she's saying is, I'm gonna be there with the buggy. Harry's gonna be there dropping banana peels. It's gonna be just like Mario Kart, and Kelly's gonna be running too. Basically, I'm Mario, he's Luigi, and he's little Donkey Kong. <laughs> oh, freeze him. So we're just doing a little warm up. We've already got GoPro issues. You can tell it's been a minute. Um, and Harry is refusing to wear hats and a hat and gloves, which isn't ideal because it is cold this morning. Chilly 10 isn't it? It is chilly. Name, name of the race. <laughs> Hi! You can't have like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The time starts, chip time from the mat as you go under the arc. Thank you. Oh, hey. <laughs> yep, 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 yep. Well done, people. Well done, people.
really strong. Doing so well. Make it happen now. Oh, I'm really driving up. Sit now. Really strong. Start sprinting now. Nothing left. Empty it. Go on, Cal. Sprint finish. Make the time. Brilliant. Robbie Newton. Go on, guys. <laughs> running for it's a hot day today. It's going to throw up. You're right, babe. She's fine. PB, yeah. I haven't had to. No, don't talk. Just get your breath. Deep breath through your nose. So was she? Amazing. Oh, that could be up. What the hell? Last time I ran this in April, I had a massive PB. I ran 54. I know. I know. <laughs> so that's like four minutes off my PB set in April, which is after three years. On the same course. Amazing. On the same course. Amazing. Oh, wow. Absolutely amazing. And I've just got to run that for uh, 26 miles and I'll get my Harry? Yes, it is. Roughly 28. And that's me done then to January. You got your own medal, Harry! You did take part. So that was incredible. Um, I actually can't believe what I just ran then. I, I'm a little bit lost for words right now. Um, I'm very cold. It's got really cold now we've stopped, but wow, a hell of a run. Um, and I am so pleased with that, but we'll uh, we'll delve into the details in a bit. But now it's uh, coffee and Vicky has very lovingly <laughs> supplied us with brownies and cake. So, little mini celebration and then we'll digest when we're a bit warmer. I am absolutely delighted with Sunday. I still can't believe that I ran that. It just seems, it blows my mind because it wasn't on the radar that time. In fact, Matt said to me at the beginning of the race, slow down, we'd agreed to going out at a certain pace and based on what my training looked like and stuff. And it, it blew everything out of the water. It was just incredible. And to put it into some kind of context, I mean, the last PB I had a race for the 10K distance was in April. And that was already a two minute PB, which has stood for three years. So it's taken me three years to break my PB and I broke it by two minutes. And now we're here in November and I've just taken another four minutes off that. It is just incredible. And I'm, I'm thrilled to bits with it. Absolutely beyond thrilled. At the beginning of the year, I couldn't hold that pace for even a minute interval. Now I can do it for 6.2 miles. It makes things feel like they are achievable and like 
that's such a huge progress for me this year. We've still got such a long way to go for the BQ and I am well aware that I need to do that pace for 26 miles, not just six. But I couldn't even do it for a minute at the beginning of the year. So look how far uh, we have come and even with all the highs and the lows this year and there have been lots of lows there have been really um some bad moments and some struggles this year but even with all of that there has been some massive massive progress this year and it's exciting because next year we're still going for the bq and we're still going for it the hard work is paying off i mean you can't rush it i've learned that this year this has been one of my takeaways in the year is that even though you want to do something quickly you cannot force it but the hard work and the showing up is paying off and over everything just being consistent is working you know the bad runs this is still being consistent you're still turning up you're trying so chapter bits really 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 pleased with that i do have other stuff to fill you in on but yeah basically there's been a pb at reading i've been working alongside swift on their swift academy run series i will show you some snippets of that that's been over on their channel on the world of swift and now we have valencia valencia is coming up fast we're about at the time of filming now about 10 days away yes another marathon and whilst i am quite obviously in better shape than I was before I headed into Berlin. There are some certain things that aren't that helpful for Valencia and one of them is just the complete lack of long runs. There have been some long runs like time on feet but obviously not a full marathon training cycle. There was the recovery from Berlin and London. It's been a very very short cycle but I've really enjoyed all of my running in this cycle and just done the best that I can do whilst being quite cautious to make sure that we get to Valencia in one piece to have a crack. Whilst I would love to come away from Valencia with with a PB or whatever I was aiming for at Berlin and we know that, that was that changed to sub four but I do know that the lack of long runs are going to impact that and also possibly still some fatigue from Berlin or London although I have to say that I am running stronger than ever and it is it's exciting it's really good but yeah the, the main goal for Valencia is just to go and have a positive marathon just go and run the marathon again go and enjoy the weekend go and enjoy the route the city just hopefully come away with a more positive experience to end the year on a good note whatever happens in Valencia I feel like this year has been good and I've had so many positives and it's kind of counteracted the negatives and the lows that have happened so yeah we're just going to go give it a shot there's no expectations with Valencia other than let's just try and have a good weekend and have some fun and just wrap up the year because after Valencia December we'll be taking a break um, from structured training from any kind of big training at all uh, just to give my body a break, kind of settle back down and get ready to go again in the new year with a new cycle. So yeah, that's it. I really hope that you enjoyed the vlog. It was a fun one to make. It was fun running the race with Harry and with Matt, although Harry did sleep through the mo most of it. But yeah, it was a fun one to go and run. Obviously, it was a positive outcome and... I guess that's the last kind of hurrah before Valencia and the complete end of the year. But yeah, hope you enjoyed it. It's been good catching up again. I will fill you in on lots of other stuff and I will we'll obviously let you know how I get on at Valencia. If you have enjoyed this video, please do make sure you like, share and subscribe. That would be great. I've had my little break, I'm back and yeah, raring to go. I feel like training's gone good, life's good, everything's good and of course we're heading into Christmas so there's all the mince pies to look forward to. But that's it from me. Stay safe and happy running.